Okay, it's just a quick little video of my garden that I'm doing. This is my old uh, chicken coop. Um, everything you see here, I got for free, wood-wise. I had to buy the chicken wire. But other than that, all free. Um, I haven't had my chickens in two or three years. And that's where I would pile all their uh, manure. And I've been using that. It's, you know, it's been sitting for a couple years, so it's good to go. Anyways... So here we go. So I got a cherry tomato. I know it's a hybrid, it sucks, but it grows, that husky grows great out here. So does the uh, celebrity hybrid again, can't harvest the seeds, which suck, but they grow so well. So those are all celebrities, a jalapeno. That is a uh, squash zucchini I grew from seed, just put it in the ground. That's been sitting, they've all been sitting in my window seal, um, just getting too big for the containers. That's another uh, squash that I actually bought from Home Depot. But that one and that one I grew from seeds. And I've got probably this many more in the window that are just now starting to sprout. And they're all from seeds, so I'll be able to harvest them. And there's one more uh, celebrity. But here's what I do out here in the desert where I live. I dig a hole. And I get these wherever I can, side of the road. I mean, you know, they're busted. It don't matter. And I dig a hole and I put these in the hole. And then I put my, my decent soil that I have in there. And why I do that is because here in the desert where I'm at, it gets so freaking hot. If you just plant it in the ground, you're wasting so much water because the ground just soaks it up. So this way, it, and believe it or not, we have uh, some kind of moles out here, some kind of gopher type things. And, you just plant them straight in the ground, they'll start eating the roots from the bottom. But, you know, that's where the little chicken door right there used to come out. And that was off in the old shed that I got that was our chicken window. But anyways, it's not pretty. It's all free pallets, all free wood, and it works. So who cares what it looks like? Because now I can grow my own food, vegetable-wise anyway. So, you know, with the whole corona thing and people scared, now's a good time to get out and start gardening because you can grow some of your own food and offset the cost and the worry of running to the grocery store and seeing if anything's there. I mean, you can't live off tomatoes and squash, but you know what? It sure will help. Oh, and here's my little trap that I got. Um, I set all these live traps uh, just to make sure nothing was in here and the peanut butter was gone off of all of them and they were all sprung. So I'm like, okay, feed, little feed mouse, field mouse, mice that can get through the chicken wire. See the you know the chicken wire down there. They can get through there, and they can get through the size of that. So I set that up. I kid you not, not the other the other night, I got 11 mice in there. I put a little bit of peanut butter right here. They walk up here and they see that they get on there and boop, in the bucket they go, and they take a little swim. I know it's kind of sad, but I don't. They don't go to waste. I put them over by this Joshua tree where I have a pair of road runners that are nesting right now, and I've, I've watched them run over there, grab one, run back into the cat claw acacia. Not even 30 seconds after that one run in there, another one would run out, so you know, mom and dad taking turns, grab another one, run in there. And so within a half an hour, they were gone. I set it up last night and I caught four, four more. Because what I, don't, what I don't want them doing is come in here and chewing on these nice little tender ones. I mean, these could probably handle it, you know, something like that. And if you look right here, I even got one getting ready to come up. So I'll probably have to thin it out. Just see which one's the stronger one, you know, after about a week or so. Which I hate doing, but, you know, you got to do it. Because that little guy wants to live, but oh well. So anyways, there's just a quick little video of my garden. And I'll, I'll keep posting as they grow and update. But hey, guys, if you have, you know, if you have a little bit of room on your patio, you can get some buckets. I, I'm even using, like right here. I'm even using a five gallon bucket. That's plenty of space for those to grow. Another quick update on the garden. This one's getting, I think what they call sun cloud. It's like a sunburn, I guess. So those leaves will probably shrivel, shrivel up and die. Uh, it's only been a week since I got them in the ground. They all seem to be doing okay. I'm learning something though. 
So I bought this one at Home Depot. It's this uh, squash. Uh, what one is it? Whatever that says. And there was three of them growing in the pot. No, wait, I did these ones from seed. No, I did that one and the one over there from seed. So that one, <clears throat> that one and that one were all in this, you know, the little pot that comes from Home Depot. So I separated them. What I should have done, and I'm learning, is I should have just killed that one and that one. I should have just threw them away. Because look how much better that one's doing compared to those. So that was the strongest out of the three seeds they put in there. That was the strongest. So I think I'm wasting my time with those two. I might get rid of them and put my strong seeds. Like that was one I did from seed. He's pretty darn strong. Uh, there's another tomato. And there's one I did from seed. He's really strong. So I'm, I'm no gardener. I'm just, I'm just doing this. So here's my new project I'm doing. I really want to do potatoes because I love potatoes. I'm not a big tomato fan, but I love salsa. And my wife loves tomatoes, so I do a lot of tomatoes. So I'm going to put this. I was just figuring out a way to put these blocks without uh, um, cutting them. Ah, that was my grandma and grandpa. They just went by and honked. Um, anyways, I didn't want to cut them to put like a half and make them. So this seems like this is gonna work. I'm gonna set this right there in that corner. And then I'm gonna fill it up with some soil. And I'm gonna put some potatoes down in, down in there. Probably, I don't know, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven, maybe eight some potatoes and fill it up. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll loosen all this soil, you know, over there. I'll loosen it all up so it's it can percolate through. Because one thing you don't want is water to stand on your potatoes anyways i'll probably put good dirt up to here set my potatoes on there then fill it up to here and just let them come through i know you're supposed to like keep mounting them but i'm just trying what the heck if i'm doing it wrong but i really like potato it'll be way cheaper to go buy potatoes but that's not the point one i want to do it and two i want to grow my own potatoes and eat my own potatoes how cool will that be because well i do eat some of these tomatoes we make hot sauce out of them salsa that's why i got the jalapeno i should do some onions also anyways just a quick update okay so there it is got it in the corner and now all i got to do is wait for my potatoes to get a little bit taller a little i don't know what you know where those little eyes are growing i don't know why it is half the time when you go in there to get some potatoes out there's always some with it of course what we've got in there right now they're all nice and nothing growing off of them so I went on YouTube and looked and I guess you just take them and you put them in a car little cardboard box and stick them in the closet so they get, you don't get no light you know and uh, within a couple days they'll start sprouting so and I got some mix there I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do because peat moss holds water really well and I know with potatoes you don't want them to be in water but you want the ground wet so I got to figure out you know with my topsoil peat moss and some steer manure the ratio to make but I'll figure that out and then I'm gonna build a little couple little raised beds right here to do some uh, carrots and onions and I got some scrap wood for that oh and all these blocks I got got them all for free off a buddy of mine that wanted them out of the yard so Pretty much everything in here again free except for you know these couple things i had to buy but uh the, the planners the this whole this whole thing i made i know it's not pretty but you know what it keeps the squirrels out and uh i don't know if i said it in the other video but when i did the chicken wire down there i dug out a foot and went down about mm, four or five inches down laid the chicken wire down and came out a foot long with the chicken wire and then put the dirt back on top of it because what they'll what they'll do is the squirrels will run and they'll try to get in and they'll dig right here so what'll happen if you can see i've got my chicken wire right there so they'll dig here and they'll back up a little bit and dig again and hit the chicken wire so i got the chicken wire all the way around the whole thing and that keeps them from uh, getting in. On to building a couple little race, and all again, free wood. I mean, it's not the best wood, it's dug fir. Um, you know, it's old, it's, it's 
not pretty looking, it's not square, it's cupped, it's bowed, but we'll make it work and it was free. Okay, there's a little raised planter box, uh, just two two by sixes, old material that they were actually old rafters I pulled out of a little teardown we were doing. So, you know, you can see like the hole there and all the nails where the sheeting was nailed off, but hey, free lumber, man. So get the taters going in there and some carrots and some onions and give that a try. Okay, got the dirt in there. It's a good soil. I got it in there. I'm gonna dig down a little bit when I put the potatoes, but I'm still waiting for them to sprout in my uh, pantry in the back where it's nice and dark. What I did was I did uh, one scoop of steer manure, two scoops of topsoil, and two scoops of peat moss. I hope that works. I don't know if it's too rich, too much peat moss, too much topsoil. I know steer's pretty hot, they say, so one scoop of that to two topsoil and two peat, I think will be all right. It might, and what I'm gonna try, what I'm gonna do is, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna do some carrots, maybe a couple onions, uh, maybe some kale or something else in there. But the potato, potatoes is what I really want. Um, I'm hoping it's not too much peat moss and keeping too much moisture because the videos I saw, you know, holding moisture in the ground is bad for potatoes. I guess to a certain point, it's it's good, but too much and they start to rot. All right, another quick little update in the garden. That one's still sunburn, but it's the top's doing good, so it's gonna make it. These tomatoes are starting to show a little bit. I just pinched a lot of the bottom leaves off there. Um, I've been watching this uh, Roots and Re Refuge Farms. It's a girl named Jess and her husband, she calls him Sweet Maya, I think. Anyways, really nice down to earth people and she's huge in tomatoes and stuff and planting everything. Her garden's gigantic. Anyways, watch her cause she's got awesome information. But uh, so yeah, I'm pitching those off cause you don't want to get the leaves wet on the bottom. Chili's hanging in there. That one was from seed. That was store bought. It's blooming. Isn't that cool? And then those two were in the same pot there and I separate them. So again, on the earlier video, I said I might pull these out, but now that they're blooming, I think I'll just let them do what they're going to do. There's another tomato there. <clears throat> and then that was from seed. Unfortunately, I suck. I didn't mark what's what they are. I got a bunch of seedlings in the house. I'll show you real quick. Okay, here's some of the seedlings that I've got. This we bought, cilantro, wife loves cilantro. Did a couple tomatoes. That's either bell pepper or baby spinach. Again, I forgot to label everything. So all these are either bell pepper or baby spinach. And all these kind are either cucumbers or zucchini. And here's some more on the top. So I'm gonna get these three in the ground today. They're getting they're getting pretty dang big. But yeah, this is all from seed, except for that we bought that. But I want to, and then we planted some more seeds in this little thing. And we got this one popping up. Again, either zucchini or cucumber. Did I say zucchini or squash? Anyways, cucumber or zucchini. But in this row, these two rows right here, we did uh, cilantro seeds, and then I did all kinds of different tomatoes in the rest of these cells. So we'll see if they come up. And then I just threw this together and put it in the window seal. It ain't pretty. Got a plastic there, drape it down so the cat don't come and knock because they like to sit right up here and go boop, 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 right on the ground. Anyway, there you go. All tomatoes, tomatoes, and cilantro. They, uh, I don't know if they're cucumbers or zucchinis. I guess we'll find out. 
found a couple more pots hit up grandpa and he had a couple so thank you grandpa <clears throat> i'm gonna get those in the ground today and transplant some of the seedlings i have in the window seal another thing i learned from that lady on uh roots and refuge farm i sowed some uh two different kinds of carrots some onions and some cabbage i know it's way too late to do it but i'm just experimenting i'm, I'm no gardener but it's the way i figure out how you learn you know um, but if you look see i had this piece of wood right here on top of them she said to put put these on top until they sprout that way you don't displace the seeds because they're so small so you can't really bury them but look here they're already starting to sprout there we go yeah right there right there right there right there so they say once once they do that obviously take the wood off because they need uh they need sun and obviously they can't push the sun uh the board out of the way but how cool is that and i'm still waiting on my potatoes to i don't know what the word is sprout spring you know you know when you're look in the back of your pantry and you find a couple potatoes back there and they're growing i'm still waiting for them to do that <clears throat> but anyhow just a quick little update pretty much for myself too just to come back and go wow remember when that tomato plant was that small and now look at it <clears throat>